This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Chola of Shima Kinde. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory, glory to. mercy moment on a beautiful Monday morning. Jesus is Lord. Lift up your hands and just worship Him wherever you are. You can just sing that song again. You are the Lamb upon the throne. Lord Jesus, we give you praise. We honor you. We worship you. Blessed be your name. All over everyone watching us from wherever you are watching us from or listening to us from, just give God praise this morning. Thank him for his goodness, his mercies over your life, family members, over what to do, over your nation, your location, your city. Father, we give you praise. We honor you. Blessed be your name. All glory to your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Welcome to Mercy Moment again. You see, this week, and other ways coming by the grace of God will be praying and I want to start by asking us to pray for the blessings of God to manifest in everything that you do hallelujah I want to read a story to you from God's word and then we pray with that story maybe you are watching on the road you're already at work or you're in your house listening this morning God's blessings can so much manifest in your life that it begins to touch other people around you. If you're a Christian, you're already blessed, but we are going to pray for the manifestation of the blessing. You know, I saw something in God's word, and this is Genesis chapter 30, and then I just want to read verse 27. This is the conversation between Laban and Jacob. Jacob and his uncle Laban. Laban said this to Jacob, and this is very powerful. For everyone going to work, walking under somebody or walking with someone. Now the Bible says, And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thy eyes, 
tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me for your sake. Now, there was beginning to be a kind of rancor between Jacob and Laban. Then Laban said to Jacob, please, don't go. That's what the experience there actually said as something like the oracle or people told me that the reason why my business is getting blessed is because you, Jacob, you are there. Now, this is to bear witness to the covenant that God gave to Papa Abraham that you will be a blessing. He said, I will bless you and make you a blessing. God is not stopping at blessing us. He wants us to be a blessing. For every Christian listening to me this morning, wherever you walk and the people you walk with, because of the covenant of Abraham that Christ has brought to us, you should be able to walk in such a way that people around you are blessed for your sake. Your office begins to be so productive because you are there. Even though whether the boss likes you or not, see, this was what happened to Joseph also when he was in the prison. And if this hasn't been your experience, this is why I want us to pray this money wherever you have. Lift up your hands and begin to say that, Lord, the covenant that you have given us says, you will bless us and make us a blessing. You can begin to pray those exact words right now and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, from this Monday, for the rest of this week, for the rest of this month, for the rest of this year, for the rest of my life, anywhere I am, make me a blessing. Lord, bless me, make me a blessing. Let people be able to testify that when you are around, things begin to work. Let it be my testimony. Let people say to me that when you are around, uh, uh, as I'm speaking, I'm, I'm actually picturing people, maybe they're about to fire you, they complain that you are not productive, you are not meeting targets. If you begin to pray this prayer, I believe that the Lord will make an adjustment in your life. Laban was begging Jacob, please don't go. This is going to be your experience in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not a liability. Lift up your hands and just pray that through Christ, the blessing of Abraham has come upon you. And part of the blessing is that wherever you are, you are a blessing. You are a blessing. The people must know it. Lord, we pray for this, that this will be the experience of everybody listening to me this morning. Beginning from today, as you get to your place of work, your place of business, your home, your family, nobody sees you as a liability. In the name of Jesus Christ, men begin to see you as a blessing. They are blessed for your sake. They are partakers of the blessing that you carry. In the name of Jesus Christ, when you are conscious of this as you are praying, then you will meet your target because you are a blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this manifest everywhere I go, Lord. Say it again, Father, in Jesus' name, wherever I, I find myself, wherever I walk, wherever I dwell, even when I, where I stay, living with people, let me be a blessing to everyone around me according to your word that I will be blessed and I will be a blessing. Oh, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For the rest of the day, keep praying the same prayer. Remember, this is mercy moment on a beautiful Monday morning. Till I come your way again. God is good and his mercy endures forever. I'll see you next week by God's grace. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us on Mercy Moments today. To watch previous episodes of Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola, please follow us on all our social media platforms. God bless you.